Here is another corollary to the theorem about angles standing on the same arc. So in this case, we're not dealing with an angle at the centre of the circle. We're dealing with two angles at the circle, which happen to be standing on the same arc, this red arc here. So we could pick a point on the circle and connect it to the end points of this red arc. If we pick a second point on the circle, anywhere on the circle, and connect it to the end points of the same arc, we will discover that both of these arcs are the same, or both of these angles are the same. And it doesn't matter how I move these around. Both angles A and B are the same. In this case they happen to be 45.34 degrees. The value of the angle actually depends on the length of this arc here. Or, well, actually it depends on the ratio of the length of this arc to the circle. But that's not too important. So, how do we prove this? Well, we consider the angle at the centre of the circle. So we join the end points of this red arc to the centre of the circle, this point here. Then we use the previous theorem which says that the angle at the centre, which is C in this case, is twice the angle at the circle, where both angles stand on the same arc. So C equals 2A. Similarly for angle B, angle B also stands on this arc. So the angle at the centre, C, must be twice this angle as well. So C must equal 2B also. So um, both 2A and 2B are equal to the same thing, namely C, so they must be equal to each other. If 2A equals 2B, then A must equal B. So these two angles are equal to each other and they're always half of the angle at the centre of the circle.